So I would definitely look at their website and see what they've got. And, um, and dude, so Mark just did vlog on his. Yeah. And, well, I say just did. He did it for a while. Yeah. But he did the back one too. Dude, hands down, he's one of the best upgrades he's ever done. Yeah. yeah. Clean, um, look good. The thing that's kept me away from him is powder coating versus paint. You know, I want to I paint to match, but I don't know if they offer a powder coat. That's, that matches my brilliant black. Dude, pearl. it's weird. It looks black from here. Yeah. <laughs> the, truck, the truck looks black from here. So Doesn't it? Weird. it Doesn't does. it, though? It's yeah. odd, man. But the other side, it looks, it, it looks it great. It does. It does. But then it's here, the it's black. Pearl black. Color. It's very brilliant how they did it. Very brilliant. Yeah. brilliant. They, were, they were brilliant when they came up with the color yeah. scheme. They, uh, well, dude, I mean, I'm sure you can get powder coat to match. Yeah, for sure. There's definitely a way to powder coat it to match. So, so I'm definitely looking at that. Okay. Yeah. You gonna smoke the tail lights or you gonna leave them all brilliant? Um, brilliant <laughs> tail light red. Um, probably clear lenses and paint to match. Uh, paint to match uh, inserts or backdrops, whatever you wanna call them. Right. So that'll look good. If I can get them, you know, keep the reflectiveness that the reflectors have in it. Well, one thing I learned is it's state law to have red reflection on your tablet. Or on the back of the truck. Okay. It's one thing I learned. Okay. A lot of ways people are getting around that is they do the license plate cover that's all black with a little red cap. Okay. As long as you have something that's red reflective on the back of your truck, they can't yeah. write you a ticket. That's an idea. I say that. Don't, <laughs> don't quote me on that. Yeah. But that's what the cop told me. Yeah. When, <laughs> when I had my BMW with black and Euro <laughs> taillights. Yeah. And he's like, you have to have red reflection on the back of your car. I'm like, it's on the side, man. <laughs> so... so. Yeah, he was the one that told me about the tag. Yeah, I mean, that was years ago, but. Yeah, I'd like to, like I said, clear lenses, paint to match, tail lights, third brake light, and, and headlight. It's mean, just as, as clean and. Would you do accents of the teal in it? Yeah, probably so. Now that, now that, that really you cool. said that, yeah, probably so. That would look really cool if you accents of the teal. Well, dude, you've got a lot to build, man. <laughs> yeah. You've got yeah. a lot to build. Yeah, it's, and it's, then I guess I've given you more ideas, yeah, so absolutely. let's keep that idea train rolling. Yeah. And, and it's a, it's a world that. It's not fun to get into. <laughs> it's a great time doing it, but man, it's expensive. So it's worth it, though. Oh yeah! And every time you do something, you're never satisfied. Decide to do it again. I think my biggest part of being never satisfied. I mean, even like with my avalanche, it's not, dude. I'm not as big as you. <laughs> you know, yeah. whatever. I'm not as decked out as JW, oh, but yeah. people come up and say, "Man, that's a good looking truck." Yeah, it's clean, man. And every it's time, clean. every time someone says that, it drives me to do more. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I feel Absolutely. that's the same way with with ninety percent of the people out there building. Yeah, for sure. They're, for one, they're they're personally not satisfied yeah. with it because man, I just got these new wheels, but dude, those wheels just came out. <laughs> I need those wheels. Yep. Yep. Or my, I just got this new wrap, and it's like, but now that color I've seen, and I didn't see it when I bought my wrap. Yeah. Now I want that color wrap. For or sure. you just came back from a show and you yep. saw new wheels. That's oh, yeah. right. Shows, yep. whatever, and, and the list goes on. So. You know, people build their vehicles and they're constantly changing them, or they change vehicles. Yeah, absolutely. You know, because they're not happy with yep. what they have. It's not that they're not happy; they're just not it's satisfied. Not satisfied. With the, the it's the same yep. thing that I'm basing absolutely. this whole yep. Instagram page on, YouTube, the yep. website. All of that is based on people not being satisfied because they cannot. <laughs> they cannot make up their mind. Yep. And what drives me crazy, man. Surprise more women don't have this yeah, on their For sure. <laughs> what drives me crazy, man, is, is I'll do something to it. And and shortly after I do it, man, you know, everybody's, oh, it looks so good. And, you know, you pull up the gas and say, oh, that's a nice truck, man. And I'm like, uh, it's not what I want, but <laughs> it's getting yeah. there, you know. So, yeah. like Wait. I said, that's my biggest thing is, is I, I'll do something and I'll be happy with it for a couple of weeks. And then after that, I got to do something else, you know. And it, it drives me crazy. That's a but, it's a mindset. It is. It it's is. a mindset. It is. I mean, I had a guy tell me that my rack, the, my old rack that I had on the truck. He said, oh, man. On the truck, right? Yeah. The rack on the truck. Okay. On my truck. Well, I, I used, I had breast reduction surgery. Okay. <laughs> so they're just little A cups now. <laughs> no. But he told me that the rack that I had on my truck, he's like, man, that rack fits your truck perfect. Yeah. It fits it perfect. Yeah. And I'm sitting there and I'm looking at him like, looks small to me. <laughs> I need to go bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so. I wound up going bigger, and now everybody's like, man, that rack fits your truck perfect. <laughs> and I'm like, yep. I told the other guy that. Yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. So, so it is It is a mindset. It's yep. a thing where everybody looks at your truck, just like I said before, oh, yeah. you know, your truck's one of the cleanest ones that I've seen Dodge-wise, period. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. And, you know, 
<laughs> and that, that's another You're reason like, I went yeah, with the Dodge. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> that's another reason I went with the Dodge, man, is because, you know, you go to, for say, like Nopi Nationals, we've been going there, you know, both shows every year for five, six, seven, eight years. And you see a thousand round, round body Chevrolets, a thousand, thousand OBS Chevrolets, all on 22 inch reps and 33s and 35s and squatted. You don't ever see no 14 Dodgers, man. Not, not a lot of people mess with them. That's true. So, I don't know why. I've, it's expensive, but I, I've, been, I've enjoyed working, building this truck. Now, are there a lot of parts for these out there? Uh, not like you can get for Chevrolets and, and Fords, but that, that, there's a, uh, a decent market with uh with aftermarket parts but not like i'd, I'd like to see you know right and every time i go go to look at something or you know, like the pedal commander for, for instance i went to look at that and i was thinking about ordering it and it said oh not available for your truck yet well like three months later it's available and i'm like well i don't want it now right <laughs> you know so right. yeah like right now um i wanted to tune it um but with it being a pentastar um for one the ecu's locked so it's got to be sent off to be unlocked. Second, like uh, I want to go Edge. Edge don't offer support for Pen uh, 18 Pentastar yet. So I can't tune it until they offer support, you know. So you're kind of just floating in limbo yeah, on a yeah, lot of stuff. Yeah, just waiting. And that's another problem with buying new that I've seen. Um, besides it's expensive as hell. Um, uh, the, as far as like this truck, this body style's been around since 09. Right. But 09 to 012, uh, 09 to 12, I think it's 12 was one way you know everything was one way and then 12 to 18 is completely different a lot of stuff just isn't offered for the 18s and 19s yet so all right so logan what's your favorite part of this truck <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah, so what <laughs> so what train <laughs> horns are those uh they're horn blaster horn uh, blasters shock, shocker xl the shocker xl okay well, well shocker all right definitely, <laughs> definitely a shocker holy crap yeah. man those are loud. Yeah. You got so, it switched? You got it wired to your... Yeah, I got it directly wired into the horn. So, hey, so it's on your key phone? Uh, yeah, I got it I got it directly wired to the horn with a switch to the horn. So I can so, flip, it, flip it back to regular horn. That's awesome. Yeah, I got to figure out how to do that, do that online. Dude, you do. Huh? You do. Is this isn't yours through the tuner? Yeah, so. Got switches in the tuner. Well, that's the, yeah. um, the way I went about doing it is, like I say, I found a factory horn, which was... The hardest thing in the world during the fender on these trucks. Um, so I had to pull the fender well down, and uh, I took and actually cut the, the the plug off of it and wired it into the wire coming in for my train horn. And on the other side, I put a switch where I could flip it from a lit the regular stock horn to my uh, to the train horn. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, there we to, go. The <laughs> to the shocker. <laughs> to the shocker. To the shocker. So that's where it comes from. Your truck overall <laughs> in, in, in what you've done, it's yeah. such a clean. I appreciate it, man. It's very clean. It. It, it's it. it's not over the top. Yeah. It's not like, you know, you, you see this truck riding down the road and it's like, man, that's a clean truck. Absolutely. There's I nothing. That and, I, and that's kind of the look I was going for, yeah. you know. It, it's not, I mean, I'll, I'll, the truck is like gorgeous. <laughs> I appreciate I'm, not, it. I'm a Dodge guy, but yeah. I'm not like a fan, yeah, like huge absolutely. Mopar head. Yeah. And this thing is gorgeous, man. I so appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. Hey, yeah, absolutely, bro. Thank you. And JW. Throw some more clips on this thing moving around. Track mode, and we are now in track mode. Oh, now, one God. thing I want you to notice: I want to switch it over to economy real quick. Okay. Now we are in neutral, and this is what the car sounds like. See, how it has that high rev. It's not very loud. You know, it's still everything's pushing through the mufflers. Now let's switch this over to track mode real quick because this is the highest performance you can do. Now here, let's see, give it a second for it to open and. It's ready to rumble. It's ready to rock. Now, All right, see. we in gear. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're in first gear. All right, let's go. We're running about 25 miles an hour. All right, let's go. And. Oh my God. Dude, I was 
was legit scared out of my mind. <laughs> this car is an amazing machine. How man. fast do we go? Now, we got a and we, I wasn't really giving 